costed you around 200 and eight, 2,800 points to get all the tiers. Yeah, but hold on. Okay, let's let me start from the from what I have on my notes, so that it's easier to follow for people. All right. So first, when you are a normal country, that is perfectly managed in 1700. You want to turn revolutionary, right? Or it's not like you get a choice, yeah? Yeah. Now, that's the problem, is that first and foremost, before you actually get the spread to 100% of your provinces, then you can re re then you can embrace it, right? Yeah. The problem is that you might actually trigger the revolution disaster before that. And if you do, you would have quite a few rebels you gotta fight. Because the, it's, it's spawned by the event. Right? Yeah. And then you also lose free stability right there. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Um, you. Let's forget about this and assume that you're small enough to turn revolutionary quick. First and foremost, you lose your 666 rulers or 555, whatever you had before. You turn into 411. Right? Yeah. And as with any republic, your rulers owe the shit. <laughs> For example, this guy I just got is 57. So he is probably going to die before I even get him to like 644. Or 633, right? And yeah. uh, 633 is okay, I guess, but it's still not amazing. Alright? But, okay, forget. Th this is just one of the issues, is that you lose basically all your Monarch Points generation at right now. This can be fixed, I believe, if you go Revolutionary Empire, but that would cost quite a lot of time, right? I think, I think you need to get your Republican tradition down to 20 in order to get the event to turn yourself into, like, a Revolutionary Empire. But lose... Wait, what? What do you mean? Wait, hold on. It, it is nowadays are... Um... It seems to be a new Novades reform that is in the last like level. Oh, really? To become an empire. No, 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 that's not the uh, one. I'm not allowed to choose it. The Imperial what? influence is 75 or greater. Imperials, Wait. hold on. Revolutionary Republic government form. Imperials. Imperials are like the faction. Okay, I can choose it now. Uh. And there we go again. We're back to 50 legitimacy. <laughs> it's not great. Well. Okay, so let's 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 talk about this at the end, okay? Yep. So, if the moment you turn revolutionary, you lose your fucking ruler, whatever, however good he is, you get a dumb shit that is old, like yep. in any republic, and then you start with fifty re re republican tradition, which is also pretty pretty fucking bad, because yep. yeah, and then you start with zero. Religious zeal, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, that that means that uh, yeah, fifty republican tradition means unrest all over the fucking place. Zero religious zeal means you gotta build up your admin efficiency from scratch. Um, you lose all your estates. You lose all your estate bonuses, therefore. And you lose all the interaction, for example, the ones that gives plus one points, and uh, the, the, what you call it, the other things, uh, like tolerances and whatever else you might fancy. Yeah. Uh, you still lose minus four revolutionary zero at peace. 100 military yeah. points give you uh, three republican tradition and five zeal. And all government progresses are refunded and reset. Okay. Can you show other country? 
What to do they get? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at this tree. It changed. The Revolution Empire tree changed. Do you see this? Like, all the shit. Like, remember. Okay, so back to what we were just saying. Remember that we were talking about uh, Republican. Uh, Revolution Republic that uh, give you those. Uh, legitimacy bonuses back in the reform, uh, in the in the government reform, like the minus to unrest, uh, the tolerance, and all that shit, right? Mm -hmm. So apparently, those things is to mine grade the problem of having no legitim having no legitimacy bonuses. So now I do, and I switch myself to revolutionary empire. All the government reform has changed. Damn. Yeah, it's just like. And do you keep adding Wait like a, a minute. Process? You lose quite a few things, actually. Some of the good shit from republics, you don't, you you lose them. Hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh Damn. no! Hold on. Let me. Let me. I still. What? Oh, if you go Revolution Empire, you don't get estates, and you lose your factions. Damn. Yeah, yeah. So you lose out the you lose out the same things again. Yeah, yeah there's no factions. You know the faction that gives you like minus two unrest, plus five discipline, and all that. They're yeah, gone. like they're yeah, gone. They give, yeah, the one that also gives you plus twenty. God damn it! They're all gone. Manpower. They're all gone. Yeah, this is no good, man. I mean, this is so much work. Yeah. This is so much work. Jesus. Yearly army tradition. I need to fire. Separation of power. Yearly. It's just the same things, man. Yeah. It's just the same things. Like, in general, or the government reform. Like, the government reforms. As a revolutionary empire and as a revolutionary public is basically the same. Like mm. the things you will pick, I mean, like not the choices, but the, the things you will end up picking is basically the same things. And the total bonuses, for example, on the unrest, it's also pretty much the same. Because, like, for example, right now, um, remember that you can get minus two unrest on the government reform in as a republic, right? Yeah. You get it in legitimacy now, so you lose that. Actually, you get yeah. it in Republic. Uh, you get it in Empire as well. Actually, let's not use that. Government reform minus two unrest in government reform. They are present in both. Um, the faction that gives you minus two unrest as a Republic is gone, and then it be it became one hundred legitimacy. Um, yeah, and then the tolerance and the stuff are still there. So you actually don't gain or lose much. I mean, it's just gonna end up the same things. But on the other hand, I don't think. Okay, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. You can go both ways. Hey, I, 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 there's a problem. That's a big fucking problem. If you choose to go revolutionary empire, you actually need to pay extra government reforms. Yeah. So I just I just spent five thousand almost. <laughs> I don't think anyone has five thousand lying around, right? Yeah. Uh, so going government, uh, going for revolutionary empire is not an option. I think. We have to. Hmm. Going hmm. revolutionary empire is not an option, because you need to pay so much. Gov you need to have banked up so many government reform progress beforehand. And, uh, yeah. So, and also the fact is, uh, revolutionary zeal, zeal 100. You get 30% administrative efficiency, you lose your 5% discipline. Oops! So much work for nothing. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. I don't think it's worth it. It's just some roleplay shit or 
if you are like really like not the biggest guy on the planet then you want to like do like ha conquer half the world within like I don't know in the last century then you do this but uh, you know what I mean <laughs>